to do or not to do? <laughs> that is the question. I came across an article recently that had me trying something new, at least new to me. It's called Time Boxing. The article was in the Harvard Business Review, and it was about becoming more productive. Well, I'll tell you, I'm all for becoming more productive, aren't you? Well, time boxing is a simple time management technique that involves allotting a fixed maximum unit of time for an activity in advance and then completing the activity within that time frame. More importantly, it is taking your to-do list and then building it out on your calendar. Well, that long and often growing list can be intimidating and it often doesn't relate to how long a job should take. Time boxing can solve that and it has several other benefits too. The idea is to take your normal list of things to accomplish and assign them a place and a time frame on your calendar. If you know, for instance, a writing project will take an hour, you look at your weekly calendar and, with a deadline in mind, find an appropriate place to block out time to do the job. Simple. <laughs> yes, it can get more complex, and there are apps like Sunsami that can help you deal with multi-layered projects. For most of us, though, it's enough to control our time, our day, and get the job done in a timely way. Now, I'm just getting started in using time boxing, but I like it already. The Harvard Business Review article lists several advantages of time boxing. Among them are the visual picture of your day or week and the task you need to accomplish. If you share your calendar with others on your team, they also can see what you are working on and they can see the time that's already blocked out and hopefully not interrupt you during those times. The Harvard article also points out it gives you a comprehensive record of what you have done. One of the most important advantages is that you will feel more in control and more content in what you're accomplishing. And yes, you will be more productive. So, how to get started? Well, an article on time boxing in Forbes.com lists these rather simple steps. Number one, choose a system or app that will help you. Number two, define the tasks that need to be done. Number three, block the time on the calendar. Uh, four is check the calendar to be sure you have the relevant tasks properly blocked with an adequate amount of time. And then five, work on following your calendar. In other words, trust your initial planning and then evaluate as you go. You are learning a new technique and it may be a process. As I was thinking through this and seeking to stay within the time I set out on my calendar, I thought of Jesus teaching about constructing a building. Remember what he said? He said, who would begin constructing a building without first calculating the cost to see if there is enough money to finish it? Otherwise, you might complete only the foundation before running out of money and then everyone would laugh at you. You read that in Luke 14, verses 28 and 29. How can you count the cost if you don't measure it and plan for it? Y yes, I know. Jesus was talking about discipleship here, a far more important application of this truth. But, but think about this. If your important tasks are being done in a timely way and you are less stressed over a long to-do list, don't you think you can be more effective as a disciple of Christ? Okay, I'm working on this, and I'd love to hear what you have discovered if you toss out that to-do list and begin to time box. And I'd love to hear how the Lord is helping you be a better ambassador for Christ and His gospel as a result. By the way, if you'd like to know more about Media Alliance and our global ministry, check out our website, it's MediaAlliance.cc. And you can help us grow the ministry simply by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video.
Thanks so much. And God's best.